I'm a third year computer science major and there is a big flaw in the computer science curriculum. And it's that while yes, you do learn important theory, you don't actually really learn important skills. Like at all for example if i just relied solely on my cs classes i wouldn't even know how to build a simple web app let alone a full stack web application as someone who's going to college and looking to pursue a field in somewhere in either full stack development or maybe ai and machine learning i hope that you can imagine the disappointment when you see that my schools don't even offer a single javascript class python they do have like one or two classes actually i have the python intro scheduled for this summer but honestly wait that's besides the point so what do you do if you want to build personal projects but your classes aren't teaching you anything practical let that sink in. Like seriously, here's the reality of my CS classes. I learned about algorithms, data structures, memory management, all super important stuff. But here's the thing, none of that actually teaches you how to build real world web applications in my case. Like honestly, there's zero preparation for what I wanna do in this field. Let me break it down. In school, you're learning things like big O notation, binary trees, recursion. All of that is great if you're trying to build better sorting algorithm or understand low level computer architecture. But it's like the second you're like, okay, let's create something that people actually use like a website. Suddenly it's like you just run into a wall and trust me, I get it. This is super common and it's not just me because I know this because tons of CS students have been telling me the exact same thing. You can ace all of your data structure exams. You know, your linked list inside and out in C++, but you ask any of us to deploy a web application. What do we do? So if you're feeling the same way, like you're stuck between this school versus real world coding projects gap, here's what I did to actually get over it and start creating real world projects. Well, it all started in one summer where I was like, yeah, I need to fix this. And I had no internships lined up. So I went through an online coding course. And that's when I started to really learn things and things started to actually make sense. For example, I learned HTML and CSS. These things are basic, but you need them. This is literally the foundation of a website. You can't create one without having them. I also learned JavaScript finally, because it's wild that schools aren't teaching this, but you will need it in order to make your websites functional. And I also learned React because no one's out here building vanilla JavaScript script websites from scratch in 2025. React is like essential for modern front end development. I also learned how to use a tool called Postman. If you're working with APIs, this is a must. You'll probably learn about it later. And the thing about it is all of these things that I learned, it wasn't just random knowledge. I actually used each and every one of these tools to create personal projects. I was making things like login systems, dashboards, and actual web applications. And I know login, dashboards, this all might sound simple, but it's key. This is things that people actually use. This is the point where school just doesn't cut it. School teaches you theory, but you need to get beyond that and build real world applications to actually get it. So if you want to do the same, here's exactly how I'd go about it. The first thing I would do is I'd learn HTML and CSS. These, like I said, are your non-negotiables. You need to understand these before you move on to anything else. After HTML and CSS, you got to get into JavaScript. There is no shortcuts here. You got to go HTML, CSS, and then JavaScript. There's no shortcuts. And then you want to move into React. This is going to be kind of a learning curve from what you're used to with HTML and CSS and JavaScript, but it's modern and it's what everybody is using. Then you're going to want to get into the back end basics. You're going to want to learn things like Node.js and Express and databases. You're going to be needing this if you are creating full stack applications, because this is going to teach you to really learn how to build a back end, create APIs and connect them to your database. And then finally, a great tool that I like to use is Postman. You're going to have to learn how to use this tool. This is going to allow you to create a fully functional back end where you start creating a front end. You'll learn more about it, but that's the basic of it. Then finally, build, break, and fix. The only way to get good at coding is to actually struggle through it. Don't just use chat GPT all the time. Struggle through it, hit your head against a wall a few times, and you'll learn. If you do this and you actually take it serious, I promise you, you'll learn way more than what school is teaching you, and you'll grow more confidence as a software engineer. It's like putting all that theory you learn to practice. You can learn all the theory you want, but unless you're building something that actually works, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, if you're in school and you feel like you're not actually learning how to code real projects, don't just sit there and wait for knowledge to somehow magically come to you. Go out and learn it yourself. The skills that are actually out there that are going to get you a job aren't always taught in school. Honestly, in my case, it's completely different than the ones that are taught at school. If this video helped, drop a like and subscribe and comment down a project that you want to work on. As always, I'll reply to all comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.